Year 7s, welcome to Anglo-European School. My name's Mr Richards, uh, I'm going to be your Year 7 Year Leader. Um, I'm just saying goodbye to my second group of Year 11s going through school. Uh, and in this difficult time, I'm sure there's some concerns that you have, but my job today is to alleviate some of those concerns, give you a tour of the school and let you know you're not going to miss out on any of the opportunities that we have here. Year sevens. This is the beautiful walk-in we've had through the laurel bushes, past a couple of willow trees, across the pedestrian crossing and where you're going to meet helping hand students, myself, Miss Wood, loads of other teachers on your first day. Then the sports hall in the gym directly behind me. M block, predominantly maths. Behind the van is our basketball courts and back playground. S block, science. Just the other side of S block is B block. And then the main hall. So here we are in the main hall. Okay, this is where you're going to have your assemblies. Uh, you'll be sat in your form groups for assemblies. Okay, so that make it really nice and easy. We cover loads of different topics in assemblies. Possibly the most important one will be about being kind and that's especially relevant in our school. 133 different primary schools, people from all over the world coming into one place and we're so diverse and we're so much better for it. Hi, I'm Mrs Wood and I am your pastoral manager. I'm here for you to answer any questions you may have, any concerns you may have, or if you just want to talk about anything at all that you feel is necessary whilst you're at school. Hi, it's Mrs Wood again. This is where my office is. Um, I share the office with a, another pastoral manager, Mrs Gaskell. So if I'm not around, then Mrs Gaskell is here to answer again any queries or questions you may have. Okay, so we're now in the playground here. If you have a look, Right at the far end of the playground, there's our MUGA, our multi-use games area. Uh, this is an area of space that you can book uh, when there aren't PE lessons going on there for you to do some basketball, netball, football, etc. Uh, also, we have a near field, okay, used for PE lessons most of the time. Also, for special occasions, we're out there for picnic in the park, etc. Uh, behind you is E Block and the sick form area, and we're going to go and have a look at that now. So here we are outside the sixth form block. To your left as you're looking, we have A block, okay, in there you have drama, English, and some languages. And also behind us is also another language block. We'll go and have a little look at them now. So I've just walked over from uh, sixth form, and I'm now in between A block and L block, your languages. Great opportunity here to explore languages that you never in your wildest dreams thought you'd be able to have a look at. Here we are in the dining room. Uh, this is obviously one of the most important places for you. You're going to get your lunch. Uh, there's a huge variety of things that uh, are on offer to you, ranging from sandwiches, baguettes, wraps, to hot meals. We even have international themed uh, dinners. Personal favourite, the Chinese day. We're now going to go and have a look at the library. Follow me. So here we are in the library. Uh, Miss Wood and Miss Harmer are our librarians. Um, there's a chance for you to uh, use the computers for research, loads of textbooks, and obviously a chance to get out a great book. And now you're coming to the end of year seven. Do you think that the Anglo was the right choice of school for you? Yes, I feel like I've really settled in. One of the things I was most nervous about was being the youngest in the school. But actually, the older people were really friendly and helpful, especially in the first few weeks when we needed help finding our way about. From day one, I really got the sense of the Anglo family. What about going to and from school? How's that working out? 
Uh, so they are, they were really helpful when we were going to and from school. On the induction days, they got six formers to lead people. They were going to the trains, if they were going to the bus, because you might not be able to find your way in and out of school. And that's completely fine because the six formers will lead everyone to the train station, lead everyone to the bus station. And some people have older siblings, so of course they can go with them. But if you don't, don't worry, just ask someone, where's the, this bus station or where's it? Or you can just see where everyone else is going and you'll, you'll see like there's loads there's um like a few main gates where most people go out so so there are about two main gates and you can just look at which one you think is easiest but of course ask anyone any teacher if you really need any help so that concludes our tour i know you might be a bit confused with the directions around the school etc here's a quick map this is where we started in c block okay and we showed you all the way around to the sports hall m block s block and it's one big circle right the way round. I really look forward to seeing you all. Uh, I can't wait for September. It will be the best day. I'm so excited. In fact, I wish it was here now. <laughs>